Hello family, greetings and welcome to the channel. It's your brother Prince Ayoko sending my greetings to you from our village. Um, you know, as I stated on my community uh, page from the share nut trees that I shared yesterday that I'm at uh, a, a vacation at our village. So I, I came here to visit my uncle and our family here. So before I continue with this conversation, I'll ask you, first of all, how are you doing? How is our families at your side doing? And how is, you know, your weekends? Um, in today's video, I'm going to share with you uh, about the uses of these uh, indigenous plants that we have here. All these plants that we have here are natural plants. They are very typical indigenous plants that we have here. In northern Ghana that has a lot of uses sometimes um, they use it to make some natural remedies for uh, various sicknesses or maybe various skin diseases or maybe some kind of you know stomach pains or whatever and sometimes they do mix it together to make these medicines but before I continue with this particular conversation, it is very important for you to try to share this content, content as much as you can. Especially, you know, this is what we have, that is nature. And sometimes the use of these remedies is so important. So please, if you are new on my channel, kindly subscribe and hit the notification button. And then share as much as you can share my contents, like my videos, and then let's keep it going. So first of all, I'm going to take you through this, uh, this plant. This plant. You see this plant? This plant. This plant is called Burga. Mm -hmm. This plant is called Burga. And Burga is a, a plant that will use the skin. It is the skin that we use for stomach pains. And the way pull up burger, the way we use it is that when you cut the plant, you peel off the skin. So when you peel off the skin, you dry it. That is if you can dry it, you dry it. And then um, after drying it, you will boil it. When it is dry, you boil it. And when you cannot be able to dry it, all what you do is to just boil it and let it be, I mean, on fire for at least an hour or two before you, you know, pour the water and then leave the herbs. So it is the water that you will be drinking. And you don't drink it so much. It washes the stomach. It washes any kind of dirt that is in the stomach. And it also... Uh, and it's also good for stomach ulcer. It is also good for people who are having stomach ulcer or frequent uh, stomach pains. So this burger, as we call it, I don't know the English name, but it's called burger in, in Dagbanle. In the Dagbanle language, we call it burger, which is very good for what I've just explained. So this particular plant that I'm holding here, it's also called Banga. It's called Banga in Dagbanle. Banga. This Banga that I'm showing you, when someone had have a very deep cut, when someone has a deep cut or when someone has a fractured bone, or maybe when someone has any kind of injury from the bone or on the skin, what they do is that they boil the leaves. They boil the leaves for at least one to two hours and then use it to apply on the wound but you not apply it when the water is still hot when it is a cut, deep cut or any kind of cut you don't apply it when the uh, water is hot you let the water come down a little bit cool down a little bit before you apply it to the wound and when it is a fractured bone what you do is that you, you use the hot water of these herbs that you boil to massage it. Mm -hmm. 
yeah. you use it to massage it. So, so far I've shown you the uses of two plants. And you see, you see it's still growing, it's still growing here. So um, this particular plant is called sarele, mm -hmm. sarele. This sarele is very bitter. The, 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 the trunk of it, that's the stem of it, is very bitter. And it's also good for stomach pains. It's also good for stomach pains. So because of this, some people are using it as their daily chewing stick here. Some people use it as their daily chewing stick. Because when you continue to use this as your daily chewing stick and you swallow the water of this, you doesn't have problems with stomach pains. This particular uh, plant that is called sarele. So it is also added to uh, some herbs to make remedies for stomach pains. So this particular herbs that you see is also called gulungung. This particular uh, herbs that you see is also called gulungung. But with this gulungung, it is also uh, good for stomach pains or stomach ulcer or any problem with which with regards to I mean, which is related to stomach pains. So this particular uh, gulungung, gulungung as we call it, uh, we don't use we we use the uh, the leaves and the stem for other spiritual uh, purposes or uh, other kind of uh, remedies, herbs remedies. But this particular gulungung, it is the herb, it is the roots. It is the roots of the gulungung that, you know, you dig. When you dig here, you get, there's a root under it. So when the root, root is dug, when you dig the roots, what you do is you have to clean the roots. Chop it into pieces. Just cut it into pieces. Soak it with water for at least 24 hours. And then you start to drink and your stomach problems will be gone. So this is just some few that I'm a uh, few herbs that I'm sharing with you. They say there's, there's there's thousands of herbs here. So I'm just gonna share as much as I can because this is an opportunity for me to share this. A lot of people have been asking me to do this and everything. I don't get time to come to the village all the time. So as I'm here, especially this early morning like this, this is what I can just do to share with you. So this particular herbs that you see here uh, is called, this particular herbs that you, you see here is also called Zungulukukui. Zungulukukui or um, the, it has an other Nansha, Nansha, Nansha. Nansha, yeah. So this particular Zungulukuku or Nansha, as we call it in the Banle, the, 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 I mean, it is used purposely for the cure of fibroid. It is used purposely for the cure of fibroid. And what they do is that they use the roots, the roots, the herbs, and then the, the stem of it. So that's what they use it for. And it's for fibroid. So this particular uh, herbs is, you know, mainly used to cure fibroids. And you know, it's women are related uh, sickness. That is also in the stomach. So that is it, Zengulkuku or Nansha. So as you can see, in the first herb that I shared, the burga, the one, the first herb that I explained about, this is a little bigger one of it. So you see how the skin is. So when you are going to use it, you will not peel off the skin. You will not peel off the skin. You just cut off, you know, you, you will not, you know, clean the skin so much. You just peel it off. You just peel it off and boil it boil the skin so that's a bigger one of it it's called burga that's the first this uh this thing that i show and this one this one here pala herbs that you you see is called pala 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 or para some people call it para some people say para uh, pala this particular pala is also been added to some herbs for uh stomach uh remedies like for, i mean they, it is added together with some herbs to make some Kind of stomach pain remedies that is natural remedies for stomach pains and then it is also a fruit plant the fruit is very you know the fruit is not all that big and then the fruit is also sweet when you are eating the fruit it is just like uh it is more closer 
to i mean tasting like sugar but it's not all that sweet so that is it para as you see oh the herbs is working here yeah that is really all what you see in here is nature everything that you see here is nature so So this plant is just growing up. It's just growing up. We call it ga ga. So it's a fruit tree, and it's also a spiritual tree. This particular tree is considered as the gods to some lands here. It is considered as the gods. To some land, so this tree they don't use the the, the 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 stick or the wood of this tree to set fire anywhere in the kingdom of Dagbon. They don't use it to set fire because it is a spiritual tree, and it is also a fruit tree that each fruit is very very sweet. It has some tiny fruits. I've ever shared it on my video. Um, this is just a smaller tree of the gar, and it is. As I already explained, it is a spiritual tree. At the same time, it is um, a sacred tree, and it is a it is a tree that is you know uh, the goes to some lands here, that is to some villages or some particular kingdoms. So it's called Ga Ga G A A Ga. So that is the Ga tree. Gaya. <laughs> mm -hmm. Particular mount that you seen here. The particular mount that you see in here is what we call in Dagbanle uh, Yable. We call it Yable in Dagbanle. And in English, it is called a uh, termite mount. Termite mount. So it took the termites several years to make something like this. It took them several years to build up this their house. So that is a termite mount. And that is where the termites is. And we have the Gulungung plant on top of it, which also cures stomach uh, pains. That you see is also just growing up. It is also a fruit tree and it's very, very good. This particular tree is called Do, Do in Dagbanle. It's called Do. And then the, the English name is uh, the West African. Uh, ficus tree. It's called the West African ficus tree. Or uh, some say, some call the beans the West African ficus beans or something like that. But each botanical name is Pakia biglobosa. Pakia biglobosa. That's the botanical name for this plant or this tree. And the uses of it is so many ways. This one, when we are going to perform funerals, that is what they used to, you know, put on the heart of our regents. That is, you know, the first signs to our our kings and chiefs here during their funerals. That is the day that they will be making the circumambulation of the palace. That is the Yil Gelebu. As you, you can watch my video from my uncle's funeral, you will see these herbs on his head or, or on, on the hat that he wears in the video. And it is also having a very good bean. It has, you know, it has some kind of beans that they use to, you know, cook soup. And it is not just for cooking soup. It is also good for the cure of a uh, stroke. This particular tree, the seeds is very good for the cure of stroke. So... Here, it is believed that even here, when someone has stroke, this is the first uh, particular trees, uh, herbs, sorry, um, uh, the, the, the seeds, the beans in the seeds, or let me say the seeds or the beans. That's what they use together with some parts of it to start, you know, to cure the person, I mean, the, who has a uh, stroke. And then, it is also common in the in, 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 in West uh, in, in sub-Saharan Africa, especially the savannah regions. It is very common in those areas. 
and it's very good and it also has some uh it also has some kind of yellowish powder around the seed which we use to make porridge and it tastes just like sugar so family there's a lot to share there's a lot to share there is thousands and thousands of trees to share but so far today this is just something small that i'm going to share with you um all right family 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 thank you so much for your time thank you so much for your patience and thank you so much for you know taking your time to learn what i share and as i as, as i always tell you try as much as you can to share these videos so that people will benefit from what i'm also sharing with you based on my own knowledge and based on what i have learned from the elders you understand what i'm saying we i know it growing up and i know all the uses of these plants the majority of the uses of these plants not all of them i know what it does and you know sharing means caring so please do me that favor share it and let's you know keep the message going because um if we have all these natural uh, trees or plants that is kind of indigenous that can cure us without you know we going to the hospital i think it is it is a blessing that we should be thankful for the uh, to the almighty god and the ancestors because they have been able to pass this from generations upon generations for us to also come and inherit it and learn from it and use it so please kindly you know share this as much as you, as you can and then also take your time and watch as well as listen to my explanations very well because it is going to be beneficial to all of us till we meet again on my next video it's your brother prince ayoko sending my love from tamale uh, sorry sending my love from our village to all of you tamale <laughs> is a place that you can't go uh, go to anywhere and see nature like this again because tamale is one of the most fastest growing town in west africa because of that we have lost a lot of this due to developments that is people's building their houses and so on but um i will not leave you just like that i'm just gonna take you through some one more video of the baobab tree so hold on and this tree is also called pulumpung pulumpung is a spiritual tree it is a spiritual tree and it also cures some sicknesses yeah now you see as i was explaining on my video about the gulungung which cures some stomach pains you see that someone has just come and dig and get the roots so i'm getting closer to the mighty baobab tree i'm getting closer to the mighty baobab tree and that is the ancestral tree that you see there um this particular tree it's a tree that was planted you know sorry um yeah so yeah the baobab tree is also a natural tree that grows up by itself but mostly the, the baobab trees that we have here the majority of them were, were being uh planted to share our boundaries and it is it was also served as spiritual you know trees for our ancestors and as you can see uh, very fortunately we have the baobab fruits on top of it this tree has got the baobab fruits but the 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 the, the, the particular fruits to this tree is very far away if i had known how i would have do to get a seed a sort of a single fruit i would have let you see how it is so that is the baobab tree that you see and it's, 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 it, they are very bigger trees very very big trees as you can see so this is the baobab that's the baobab tree and the skin is also good for the uh for the cure of a uh, sickle cell sickle cell that's the baobab tree you see yeah so this is the trunk this baobab tree has been divided into like two so this is the trunk to the baobab tree as you can see some people has cut some of the trunk uh, some of the skin to the trunk 
for spiritual purposes. So mostly, whenever you see a baobab tree, you will definitely see a tree around it. Uh, we have this spiritual tree that we call ga, and this is the fruit to the ga. The tree that I said is a spiritual tree that also serves as God's to some lands here or some villages here. You see the seed. It is not ripe yet. That's the ga uh, fruit. And with the baobab fruit, I've gotten one piece of the fruit, but it's not good. It's a spoiled fruit. So this is the, the baobab fruit, but this one is a spoiled uh, fruit. It, it cannot be eaten. It's not all that good to be eaten. But we have, uh, you know, there is, you know, fresh ones on top of the baobab tree, but getting it is not easy. So you see, this is, you see, this is how the baobab uh, seed looks like. This is the baobab seed that you see uh, in, on my palms. That's how the seed looks like. Yeah. So that's the baobab seed. That's the baobab seed. All right, family, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for your time once again. As you know me, I always love to share. So till we meet again on my next video, I say a very good day to you and enjoy your weekends. Peace. One love.